Hey folks, beautiful day. It's beautiful uh, 27th of February, sunny, 19 degrees at one in the afternoon. So I guess I really can't complain about it being kind of bright in here for filming. But what I wanted to do today is highlight the third reason why we are successful growing an indoor winter tabletop garden. Now we talked about our self-watering, bottom watering planters. They're key, primarily that aeration, that air that comes in from underneath that allows the roots to get aeration and keeps them from getting drowned in, in rotting in water. The other thing is our, uh, our nutrient packets. As the plants use up the nutrients that are available, you know, there's only a finite amount of nutrients available in potting mix. And when these plants have been growing for three months, close to it, they start using up those available nutrients. And we're gonna supplement them with a, a complete nutrition, a complete hydroponic solution as part of our watering system. So that's number two. But what I wanted to talk mostly about today is our third secret and that is our LED grow light. Now I, I've mentioned them in passing in the past and they, these are made by Happy Leaf. And we're going to take a look over here at our grow light. I'll just unhook the camera and we're gonna take a look at how we set ours up and my thoughts on them. So this is their brochure and on it you can see their website and this is the grow light that we got the 33 inch LED light that uses 43 watts and gives out 560 micromoles per square centimeter of what they call par value which is the photosynthetic active radiation which is the light energy that's available to plants, which is something that they are experts at talking about, and I certainly am not, but all I can tell you is they, they sure work. So this is our setup. Now this is the 33 inch one that I shut off. Actually, this is first time I've shut it off since December, except for when we took it to a show. It's on a timer. So this is a timer that came with it, and ours turns on at 6 a.m and turns off at 8 p.m. seven days a week. And it's been doing that since, I believe, before Christmas. It's since December. So this is the same cilantro that we planted and had been actually harvesting before New Year's. And this is the same basil that we had planted back then and have been harvesting since then. This mixed lettuce greens, this planter here, is one that we have harvested completely once. Mowed it right down to stubble, and this is all secondary growth in this. And this is the one that if you watched other videos, you know that this is the one I planted on January 30th. So this is a second planter which will give us two harvests. So we're gonna get one more harvest from this planter and we will get two harvests from that planter. And I think by the time we're done with those two, it's gonna be time to move our lettuce growing operation outdoors. But anyways, I wanted to show you how we set up this grow light. It did not come with a stand. So if I can get through the foliage here, this is just an 18 inch piece of two by four that I put a coat of, uh, of uh, water-based varnish on it and I drilled a hole in the center that is 11 sixteenths and I did the same on the other side and an 11 sixteenths spade bit which I have one here I can show you here's one that I that I just purchased this isn't the one I use but of course I just wanted to show you that they are available and this one was $3.99 at our local Menards store. So it's, it's an odd size, 
not one that everybody carries, not one that everybody has in their workshop, but it works perfectly for half inch metal conduit. So I'd say spend the four bucks and get that. Otherwise you can drill a three quarter inch hole and build it up with a little, little electrical tape to get it a good snug fit. Now the key to having this hole drilled is you wanna, if you have a drill press, use it. So you have a nice straight hole. Otherwise, if you have a hand drill, get it as straight as possible because these vertical parts, you want them to both be the same. Yeah, the lighting's bad. Okay, so here's the next feature. I cut the conduit. I believe this one is about 30 inches, 32 inches maybe, whatever height you want. And then I just got the these nylon half inch hose fittings, a 90 degree hose fitting, a barb fitting. And on the top one on the back, I put in a sheet metal screw. I, I built that up with hot glue because they're a little loose. And I just hot glued that. I While the hot glue was wet, there was still liquid. I pressed it in there and screwed it in. So this part is permanently attached. This part comes out, if I can one hand it. So this one lifts up, so you can take it apart. And I just built that barb part up with electrical tape. So it's completely portable. You know, it comes off the base and it comes apart here. And then I just use these, this inexpensive chain that you can open the links, just quickly open the links with a needle nose pliers and, and change it. It does come with stainless steel eye bolts, which is handy. So it's a handy stand. You can make for about five bucks. So, you know, a piece of metal conduit, half inch. This top piece is 36 inches. And that allows us enough space underneath the grow light to use four of our 18 inch planters and still have room, you know, for our, our uh, cups, our external cups that we use for watering. So, just a quick overview of the Happy Leaf 33 inch, 43 watt LED light. Now, I'm a frugal guy. If you've watched my other videos, you know I'm frugal. But that does not mean I'm always cheap. And this is one of those cases where being frugal is not the same as being cheap. 140 bucks for a grow light sent me into sticker shock. And at first it's like, no way. I'm going to get a cheaper one. But I did my research. I found that, first of all, the thing's guaranteed for five years. It uses so little power. And I figured, well, let's see, it's guaranteed for at least 50,000 hours of use. I figure if I use it for five months, for 14 hours a day, seven days a week, this thing would last me about 24 years. So it's one of those deals where the upfront cost is a little bit high, but if you think about it, what you're getting for 140 bucks for years and years of use, and you think of what these people do to grow some greens in the winter, they build these uh, deep winter greenhouses. They spend 30,000, dollars or try to heat an outside building. No, I'd say just make the investment it's really worth it. Get a good quality, high energy LED grow light and you will be so happy. Now, remember with the, the nutrient solution we mix up, our kits will make up 64 gallons of the stuff. So we just give them a cup fill whenever they feel light. Remember, use the feel method. Lift, lift your planter. If it feels light, you'll get a feel for when it's overwatered or underwatered. Herbs and greens are easy to overwater because they don't grow nearly as quickly as the microgreens. Here's our pea shoots that were planted on Monday. Today's Thursday. Oh, Sunday night. Sunday night, Thursday. Our sunflowers. Again, same thing, plant it at the same time. They just need ambient light. But if you're going to grow 
a winter herb and green garden, you're going to need supplemental lighting, supplemental nutrients, and a bottom watering planter system. And you can harvest the freshest, best herbs and greens possible anywhere, all winter. So, Happy Leaf Lights, we're not affiliated with them at all. I just wanted to say we really enjoy ours. So there you have it. The Happy Leaf LED grow light, as far as I'm concerned, is a sound investment from what I've seen this growing season. And you know, for the first time in several years, we're thinking of starting our tomato and pepper and eggplant and our other warm weather crops in the house. We've always started them in our cold frames with a heat cable and an and a automatic vent inside the hoop houses with good results. But you know, I think it's it's sure handy to just grow them right in the in the house. So I don't know if we're still harvesting lettuce and basil and cilantro and such. Uh, in fact, I planted some parsley here too. I might have to get another one of these lights and start my plants indoors this year. We'll have to see. Until next time, let's get through the winter and get outside and grow together.